exhibitors at the 2019 Barcelona Mobile World Congress were eager to show off their latest products packed with virtual reality, artificial intelligence and 5G. A Korean company presented Liko, the 1.5 feet tall social robot equipped with touch sensors, microphones and 3D depth cameras to understand its environment and interpret the owner's mood. Can you take a picture of you? The company compared Liko to a cat that wanders around the home and cheers up its owner. It's a social robot. If you're not familiar with the term, it's a robot that lives with you in your house, wanders around your house, like you know, walks around like a cat, more than more than more like a cat than dog. Um, it approaches you and say hi when it wants to. It has its own mind inside, AI based artificial intelligence. So. Um, it can emphasize, like, you're, if you're happy, then it's happy. If it's sad, then, you know, if you are sad, then it can emphasize with you. Or it can try to make you laugh. Because you, it doesn't want you to remain sad. Robotic arms aimed at improving efficiency in routine work caught the attention of passers-by at a booth where a robot handed out cups of coffee. <laughs> Customers can place their orders through a mobile app or using voice commands. The robot uses AI to make recommendations based on the big data. Companies participating in the annual tech fair also seek to change the way users consume content. We combine not only 3D visualization without any glasses, but also gesture interaction, haptic feedback, 3D audio, and eye tracking to combine an immersive 3D application. SR presented their simulated reality technology to improve the immersive 3D experience by removing the need for glasses and headgear. The company says their technology tracks the eyes to offer the best image up to 8K monitor. NIMB presented an emergency ring to the capability to trigger a predefined alert message to the owner's contacts and first response services. The co-founder of the company, Kathy Romanuskaya, said a ring can be used as a fashion accessory, but when the user identifies a threat, they can pose their geo position with the press of a button. She says the ring features an embedded eSIM and works globally regardless of the carrier. You wear it as a fashion accessory, but when you find yourself in trouble and need urgent help, you just press the button, hold it for three seconds, and the system sends out messages to your friends, family, and first responders. Meanwhile, virtual reality headsets for gaming and a working environment were also seen across the fair site. A city in South Korea, which has the world's highest smartphone penetration rate, has installed flickering lights and laser beams at a road crossing to warn smartphone zombies to look up and drivers to slow down, in the hope of preventing road deaths. The designers of the system were prompted by a growing worry that pedestrians glued to their phones will drive up what is already one of the highest road fatality and injury rates among developed countries. I usually concentrate on my mobile phone when I'm walking on the streets and it may cause me to bump into other people or have an accident. So I think this is helpful. South Korea state-run Institute of Civil Engineering and Building Technology believes its system of flickering lights mounted on zebra crossings can effectively warn both pedestrians and drivers. After a radar sensor and thermal imaging camera detects a vehicle and a pedestrian, the flashing lights on road starts flickering and a smartphone application sends a warning message to prevent zombie accidents. 
In addition to red, yellow and blue LED lights on the pavement, Smombies, a coined name for smartphone zombies, will also be warned by laser beams projected from nearby power poles and an alert sent to the phones by an app. Kim Dan Hee, 23, a resident of Ilsan, welcomes the system as someone often too engrossed in her phone to remember to look at traffic. This flickering light makes me feel safe, as it makes me look around again, and I hope that we can have more of this in town. In 2017, more than 1,600 pedestrians were killed in auto-related accidents, which is about 40% of the total traffic fatalities, according to data from the country's traffic accident analysis system. South Korea has the world's highest smartphone penetration rate. According to the Pew Research Center, 94% of adults owned smartphones in 2017, compared to 77% in the United States and 59% in Japan. The Swan B warning system is currently installed only at one road crossing in Ilsen, a popular suburban city about 30 kilometers northwest of the country's capital, Seoul, but is expected to go nationwide, according to the Institute.